told about Marcel Pastry? Yeah, perfect. And then again, just this way, right into the camera, and one more. Perfect. Oh, it's hard in an Omnium because it's so many events and like it's really hard on your head because like you can have one bad event but then you still got to go up and do it again and like I had that scratch race and it didn't go to plan like I wanted to beat Sarah Hammer and I didn't so going into the 500 I was just like whoa it's do or die now <laughs> got nothing to lose so and the crowd helped so much like they just basically brought me home. It's the feeling when you put them on and when you first saw it. Well, they're actually really heavy. <laughs> so the first one's like, geez, I need to get these things off. But yeah, I'm so proud, like, and I'm so pleased I won too. Oh, it's amazing. Like, once one of us won one, like, once the Team Sprint lads won theirs, everyone just bounced off each other and we all then wanted to win another one. Um, <laughs> I mean, I would like to, like, be the next one. Obviously, I don't want to step into her shoes as Vicky's, like, such an inspiration to me and I don't think she can ever be replaced to be honest but yeah I mean if I can inspire as many people as Vicky have yeah that would be great. Just the fact that we look into everything but not like a month before we look into it like three years before like developing the equipment for this Olympic started straight after Beijing like people tend to look into their equipment too late and it's just like little things like as can go down to people looking at like how tight your overshoe is for example just things like that. Do you think it's a bit of sad rage from the other teams? I really do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone wants to be part of GB, don't they? <laughs> and a huge smile.